Yo guys, so before we get into this video, I just want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. I know this has been part of my intros before, however, it is bigger and better than ever now with new updates arriving all the time to improve the way that you guys make coins. Essentially, there are free trading guides here uh, that will teach you to trade with special cards, icons, silvers, all that good stuff. So make sure you check those out. If you want to subscribe, it's £10 per month. That gets you access to buying and selling prices for special cards, silver cards and icons. The icons have just been updated. I will give you a look at that right now. The prices here are updated every single day without fail, so I can show you this. It's not going to make any difference whatsoever. But there are over 95 icons on there now, which will help you guys make massive, massive profit from them. The special cards are about to be updated too. Uh, they have, we're hoping to have 300, 400 plus on there eventually. Special cards, again, we're buying and selling prices to help you guys make as many coins as possible in this game. And we've also recently added the Thursday Flips filter. We tell you guys what to go out and buy early in the week and how to, what to sell them for on Thursdays to make absolutely monumental profits. One, as a guy that we know has already started investing in these cards, we're looking to make a million coins from that alone this week. For £15, you get access to a thing called Life Filters. These are some of the best filters that we find on the game to help you guys make coins. These have had insane reviews. People are loving them very, very much. So we're really pleased to see that you guys are enjoying the site. But like I say, it's £10 for Tier 1, £15 for Tier 2. If you want to get involved, click the link down below. I guarantee you it will make you a lot of coins on this game. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing down below, clicking that like button, all the good stuff. It's massively, massively, massively appreciated. Uh, we're on the road to 11,000 subs now. We're already halfway there. So if you can, drop a subscription on the channel. You get two trading videos a day usually. At the moment, it's kind of hard because the content is non-existent. Um, understandably, because Touch is on its way. I don't blame EA for that one bit. Um, obviously, I think there's nothing wrong with a bit of a lull to build hype into Tots, and I think that's what EA are doing. Although I do like the fact they're bringing out the packs each day for you being able to pick up a, like a, a league-specific pack relatively cheaply. I mean, the only problem is that sometimes the prices are spiking on the wingers, um, which, without being blunt, I suggest investing in because they always go up in price. Um, but if you've got the cards in your squad, like if you've got cards in your club, um, if you're doing league SBC grind, you should be able to do all those packs no problem. I've only done the Premier League one so far because I'm not too stressed about doing the other ones, but I might think about doing some of them now because they come down in price um but as always if you want to watch me do this stuff live click the link down below come over to twitch again we're one of the fastest growing fifa communities over there if you guys want to get involved make sure you join and there's a free discord server loads of you comment all the time about i should start up a discord server i have a very big discord server with a lot of people in it a brilliant brilliant community exclamation mark discord in the twitch chat if you want to get involved in that um it's uh, I, I love my community i'm very very lucky you guys are part of it so if you want to get involved and talk to other people if you want to get help for trading if you also want to talk about general life that is the place to be but this is episode 25 now of the league SBC method to glory um it's been it's been it's been brilliant so far we all know it's been very very good um but right now there are opportunities to make coins from stuff in your club and i want to go over that in this episode what we've done already we've gone ahead and put together some bronze packs um in well, silver upgrade packs there are bronze upgrades into silvers uh, we've gone ahead and put those together. We've got about 29 of those. I, I opened less bronze packs up yesterday because I didn't think the club needs too many more, in, in, too much more in the way. Silvers, it actually needs more golds. So we are going to open those silvers up and then we're going to convert the silvers to golds today, stock the club up a little bit more and then obviously start looking at more of the leagues and open up those. But before we go into it, I just want to talk to you about stuff in the club. Now, the main thing I want to talk about is squad fitnesses. Now, you guys know I advocate every single week of buying into squad fitnesses during the week for 600, 700 coins. And send them in weekend league for 12 to 1400 coins. At the moment, they're, they're pretty much 1200 coins as standard on Xbox. I think they're a little bit more on PS4, but I'm not sure. Obviously, I've not been on PS4 for a little while now. But um, squad fitnesses. So I sold a load during weekend league. I've still got loads more to sell. So I'm going to start getting the, the, those sold. But what I need to start really doing now, if you can see my club from this grind, I have a lot of crap in this club that really needs to be sold. I've probably got, in terms of consumables alone, something in the region of maybe two to 300,000 coins that I really need to clear, clear out. So obviously I've got all these guys here, loads of these random chemistry styles. Um, I've got anchors that can be sold for quite a bit. I don't really use anchors. If I want something, I go out and get a shadow from my defender usually. Um, loads of random manager leagues, but we don't really care about those. We've got attribute cards on, on stuff. We've got squad fitnesses there. We've got loads. And if we go down to the bronzes, we've got 527 player fitnesses. Now I sold a load of them a little while ago through weekend league. I can list these guys up. I can sell these cards for 200 coins a pop. I always sell them for 200 coins a pop. There alone is 100,000 coins. That alone there is 100,000 coins just sitting in the club that I need to start thinking about selling. So this weekend league coming, although I'm debating playing it because we might get red picks as part of team of the season, 
I really need to think about clearing out a lot of the crap that's in this club. Because like I can say, I've probably got about 200,000 coins worth of consumables sat here, which are also part of the grind. Most of these have come from the grind, they're not random ones there. 167 random player fitnesses. Now these don't really sell anyway, I can quick sell these. But they quick sell for 32 coins a pop. Now I can try and list them, but even, even just a standard from that, that's 3,500 coins give or take that I can just get from quick selling those if, if, I don't, if I don't sell them. I don't think I'm going to bother selling those ones. Pace cards tend to sell. Uh, attribute cards here, they sell. Uh, what else have we got in here? I'm trying to think. We've got cam to CMs. I saw them earlier on. Um, is it cam to CMs? Is it CM to cam that's expensive? Have a little look. It's this one here. Uh, yeah, cam to CM. I've got six of these. They sell for like three and a half thousand coins a pop. There straight away is something to reach with 20,000 coins. So I need to start really clearing this out, getting rid of a lot of the stuff that's in this club. Um, I'll keep like maybe one or two of the position changes from each position change, but the rest will all be cleared out without a doubt. Um, and yeah, like I say, just a lot of it needs to go. In terms of players, I, I said to you guys about opportunity selling, make sure you are keeping an eye on these packs because a lot of the players are spiking in value. So make sure you are opportunity selling your pack cards. Because let's say, for example, you do sell your rare wingers that you've got from the Bundesliga and you make 30k off of them, in two days' time, they're going to be back worth down to nominal value again. So you can buy them back for 4k and you've got 26,000 coins profits just sitting there, which is half of your bronze packs opening up. And it's things like that that I think you guys are really like not sure about. And without being blunt, I think some of you slack on, on keeping an eye on your club because I had a guy DM me and say, oh, well, I've, I've, I've spent 400k and I've probably got maybe 200, 300k back plus a couple of... Um, I've played League SPCs I competed, um, but I'm down. And I said to him, well, we'll look in your club. And I was like, what have you got in there? He's like, well, I've got like 50 squad fitnesses. And I was like, well, 50 squad fitnesses straight away is 50K. And he was like, oh. And I was like, yeah, you need to be selling and keeping an eye on everything in your club. But what we're going to go and do now is go away, open up those silver packs we've got. You guys know I've already got like nine packs stacked for tots. We've also got a load of silver packs just sitting here. Hopefully I'm not stupid and I don't open up any packs accidentally because that keeps happening. Uh, we're going to open those up. Any good packs we get from that, I'll come back to you guys and show you. Uh, and then we're going to convert the silvers into golds and then start running through League SPCs again. I will be right back once we get that done. I will see you in a... All right, guys. So first real, real hit was this Jacoponi. Uh, again, you guys know I talk about trading with Palmer all the time. 3,600 coins on him at the moment because we've not had much silver supply at all. But he's got a decent, decent value. We've hit quite a lot of sort of 1,000, 1,500 cards. Uh, we did pack an MLS striker and as I got rid of it. If it through, he's like three and a half thousand coins as well, but he's going to a club now. Um, but that's even it is what it is. But that's not a bad first first pull. But we're about well over halfway through these silvers. We haven't really hit anything big, big, big. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess it is what it is. There's nothing you can really do about it. But Jacoponi is a nice hit. I can't complain too much with that. I'm going to keep going, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we went and opened those silver packs. If you're wondering why you didn't see any more, because there was not really that much worth showing you. We've got quite a few league SBC cards, but nothing of value. But we have then gone and converted the silvers now straight away into the three common gold upgrade packs. I think we've got 22, which means we're going to be putting another 66 golds into the club, which is really solid. Can't complain with that at all. Um, but these are all here. So we're going to get those opened up. Um, again, if we get anything decent, like a team of the week from them, we'll come back to you guys. But there's no, there really is no point in me showing you these. They're just common gold players. Um, if you guys want to see them, though, I know a lot of you guys say you want to see the grind at the same time as I do them. If you guys want to see me open up packs, packs like this when I do them, then just comment down below and let me know that you want to see them and I'll make it happen. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and open these up now. There's 22 of them. Fingers crossed we can... I, I really want League SPC players from here. That's the main ambition is to just really bang out as many League SPC uh, goals as we can just to really stack the club up and continue to do so. And then after that, we'll be going through the major leagues, but I'll come back to you once we've opened these up. I will be right back. Yo, guys, so in the first pack, we've just got a duplicate Bologna player now. Normally, I wouldn't care if this guy's untradeable. However, I know I've got the Bologna players to go and do Bologna now. So I'm not going to bother showing you it, but it'll be done. I'm going to go and do Bologna and I can send this guy to the club. So he'll then go back into Bologna again. Um, again, if you can do an SPC, if you get a duplicate and you can do that SPC, go and do that SPC. The only exception to that rule is if you've got a really expensive team to complete. Let's say it's Paderborn, for example, when you need to buy three, I don't know, 10k Paderborn players, then I probably wouldn't bother. Um, it's, it's hard, hard. It's sounds bad to say that, but... It's 30,000 coins when you, on the Thursday, you could probably do that for 15,000 coins. But I'm going to go and do Bologna now. I'll be right back. If we get anything else in this that's worth you seeing, I'll see you then. All right, guys, we've also gone ahead and competed West Ham because we've got a duplicate Sanchez. And I knew I was close to competing those. Uh, that's a rare gold pack. We'll be saving that for, um, for Friday, for Friday's opening. Uh, if I go to store now, if I go to browse packs, when I go to open up one of these packs here, it's going to open up that. Uh, I've got some items to deal with. So we've got Sanchez there. Uh, with you guys here now, I might as well open up this last pack and then we'll also open up the Bologna Small Gold Players Pack as well, just with you guys here. So we'll do the three common gold players packs. 
But I think we're now with the double figures for decent packs as well. Not Nothing incredible yet. We've got no rare electrums or anything like that, but they will come as the grind continues. Um, but we've got some decent packs like stacked up now, ready to go. Anything here? This going to be sent to club. Um, and then we can do the small gold players pack that came from Bologna, just to see if we get anything from it. Don't know if we will or won't. We will see. It's not a border walkout, but it's obviously going to be a rare player. We will have a look at this now. Again, League SPC players are really what we want here. Um, not bad. Mm, could be better. To be fair, there's actually quite a few that aren't League SPC in there. I uh, will send these two up to the transfer list for now. Uh, but yeah, that's that's sort of the grind in terms of silvers into whatever it is now. Silvers and golds all done. Um, I can convert some golds up to two rare golds if I want to, but I'm also going to be looking at marking matchups. That was a great tip from you guys, something I hadn't really thought about in terms of I can use those gold cards that I've got from leagues that aren't major leagues for marking matchups. So shout out to you guys for that. Um, really good shout on you guys. But if we go and look now at the squad building challenges, let's just have a little run through where the leagues are at the moment, okay? So we've got Serie A, which we are a quarter way through, which we could probably look at today. We've got the Bundesliga we've already had a look at recently and Liga we've had a look at recently. Uh, so it's a way too much about them. Liga and us could probably have a little look at now. Premier League definitely needs a look at. Uh, Saudi League definitely needs a look at as well. Uh, Super League we did yesterday. Eredivisie we did yesterday. Championship needs a look at. La Liga Santander needs a look at. So they're probably leagues I'm going to go focus on. So I'll probably go and maybe start with the minor leagues and then go and get the major leagues done. So we'll have a look at the Saudi League. We'll have a look at the... Um, Championship, we'll have a look at those and see if we've got any that we can do at all. Possibly a little look at the CSL as well, because with the bonds pack cycling continually, you pick up a lot more than you realise. Uh, so we could probably look at that. So I'm going to go away and do that. Hopefully have some packs to open afterwards. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've gone and looked at the Championship. We've got quite a few done from the Championship. There's a couple more we could potentially do. They're on six players, but I might just hold off. I'm not in any massive rush on them. Uh, the NBS Pro League with 9 and 16 done now. Um, and the other league that I looked at was the CSL. We've got a couple done from that. Um, I could have probably done a few more from the MBS Pro League, but I'm just mindful of making sure I've got enough time to record this video, edit it, and then put it on YouTube, basically, for you guys to see today. Um, quite a few silver packs. Got some much to deal with. These are the guys that I bought and didn't need to buy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've been going to club for now. Um, got a few silver packs and then a few gold packs we can also open up. A couple that we'll keep that are like small rare gold packs and stuff like that. Uh, small rare mixed player packs and stuff like that. But um, again, just looking for the expensive silvers here, ready to recycle some of the major leagues uh, for when it comes round. If we could hit something nice, that would be good. Nothing special there. Um, I need to keep an eye on the Irish players. I always forget the Irish players. And then when I'm building up uh, the squads, I realise I've got to go and sell those. They can all go. These ones here can go because they're clogging up the club and they don't sell. I can just quick sell them um, if on the club. But if I get rid of them now, I'll get rid of them now. Jumbo Premium Silver Pack again. Okay, I'm not really sure what we could be looking for, for here. That's going to be like levels at the moment. Um, other than players. I don't think there's really anything in the packs that has a massive, massive value. Um... Nothing really there. Liga Nuss on the jersey cell. No. Cool. I can all go. Uh, let's get the manager fitness. Let's get rid of these, these, these. Uh, Skrutic. That's sort of a little bit. Super Spore. So he can go for a little bit. We'll send him to club to transfer pile. Send this all to club. Quick start the rest. That's a premium silver player pack. These are really nice. I like getting these to be fair. Um, there's a solid amount of silver players that go into club. You usually do hit four or five League SBC players, which is very, very nice. And again, the non-League SBC Silvers can go back into the bron uh, gold grind again, which isn't too bad. Ferrari's nice. We'll take a Ferrari differently. Everyone likes a Ferrari. Um, not too bad on him. Not him. We don't really care about him. Uh, do we care about Mancilla? It's expensive. Not massively. But a few League SBC cards in there. Um, solid enough either way. Willock, Nyman. We've got an Arsenal player in there. Another premium silver players pack. Fingers crossed we can get something from this one. Again, Paderborn, Dijon, Union Berlin, uh, Dusseldorf, Sheffield United, Norwich. They're the ones we want to be seeing, as always. Tondela from uh, Liga Nost, which I need to take a look at at some point. Uh, very solid. Anything else in here that's nice? Not really. Again, quite quite mere packs. We've had quite mere packs today for, for silver packs. They've not been very nice. They've not been very, very nice at all. We'll skip it again. Yesterday we hit some really heavy, like, good silvers. Today we just haven't hit the good silvers at all. Um, headbay I need to do so that's nice I'll happily have, have take him it's quite expensive card nice 4,000 coins I'll take him without a doubt anything else here that's nice not massively these guys can go up there I'll deal with them afterwards again mindful don't want the videos to be too long the videos at the moment I understand lads they are a bit of a grind at the moment because of the fact that I'm just grinding packs basically but hopefully you guys are following what I'm doing and, and seeing the results in your clubs that's what I really care about um, but yeah they are a bit mad I need to do Stoke which is very very good um 
And give us a back just a bit. Meh. Not terrible, not great. Quite a few league SPC though. It's not, that's not bad. We'll take quite a few league SPC. Bologna. He can go up there. Uh, and then small rare silver players pack. And then we'll flick through and look at the actual other packs that we've got and see which ones can be done or can't be done. Um, I've got a small rare silver pack, but that wasn't a rare. Is that Libertadores card instead then? That was weird. I've just done Luton. Could have been nice to have done them. Uh, Zeitler's not too bad for Mines. Northern Irish Carson, is he soft or anything? Looks like he does. He does indeed. We'll get him sold. A nice 4,500 coins on him, hopefully. So he can go. I'm just trying to be more mindful of those cards. I'm not leaving them sat in the club and risking them going to upgrades. Making sure he gets sold. Right, so we've got a small gold player pack there we will open. A uh, small electrum pack we will open. Probably open a small prime electrum. Open the mixed players. Premium mixed players can be open as well. Small prime mix can be open. Small mix and mixed mix packs will keep. Um, we'll start with this, the small electrum, I think we'll start with. Can we hit anything decent there? Nothing in this one. Again, though, these are good to keep the grind going into the clubs. Obviously, what we're realistically going to see is a big, quite, well, quite a big dip off in terms of players going into the club from uh, League SBC method at the moment because I'm holding packs, which I wouldn't normally be holding. On my transfer pile right now, you've got to think there's something in the region of about 100 players that would be going back into the club normally but aren't going to be going back in until Friday at the moment. So that's just something I am mindful of. So I'm not stressing too much. I'm seeing clubs not quite get filled up as quickly as they usually do. Lissels from Newcastle was not bad. Manuel de Costa. I think I've done traps on Spore recently, so he can replace that. Um, right, small prime elections. Do I want to keep the small prime elections? I'm on my own R in. Like, the premium mix would probably be a better one to keep if I'm going to keep any, but I don't think I will. I'll get rid of the small prime elections. So it's just three rares that are either silver or gold. It's not a border walkout, so that makes me feel alright. Makes me feel okay. Although it doesn't make you feel okay, because if you didn't get one in that, you know, well, I could have got tots in that, but chance of getting tots in that seems slim to nothing. Nakayama. He's PEC Zwoller, so we'll sell him. Uh, we're going to go to club. Some Premier League guys there, which is very, very nice. Um, right, so premium mix. I feel like I've got to open the premium mix packs up. I'll open the mix packs, mix player pack up. But it's premium mix, I'm like, do I bother to hold those for tots or do I keep them? I wonder if I do keep them for tots. I feel like I do keep them for tots. I'm really torn. I'm really, really torn. I feel like I might keep those ones for tots, though. Uh, these can all go to club. They can go up into transfer pile. If the premium mix aren't too bad, I might start keeping those to tots as well. Um, small prime mix will open. But I think I'll keep the other ones. I think I will keep the premium mix. So I don't think that's there's much to be gained by keeping by getting rid of those. So we'll go with that. Small prime mix, nothing in that one either. So we could be up to 14 packs, I think, now for tots, which is which is a good start. Um, once tots starts, I won't be stacking packs. I'll just be continually opening them because there's always going to be tots in packs. So I don't really need to worry too much about those. They can all go up there. So now, yeah, premium gold player packs. We're keeping the premium gold. Premium mix can stay. Small rec mix can stay. Gold Premier League boosters can stay. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep hold of the premium mix players packs. I think we're going to hold on anything that's like, sort of guarantees like three rare players and it maybe might be worth keeping. Uh, but what I'm going to go and do now is start looking at major leagues. Uh, see if we've got any teams and those that we can get done. Come back and open up any packs that are decent from that. I will be right. All right, legends. So we've gone ahead and done some of the Syria. We've gone ahead and done some of the Premier League. I believe, yeah, it's Premier League we've done. Um... I am going to open up the premium mix of the side because there are quite a few decent packs in other leagues. I don't want to be leaving myself too short. So Jumbo Gold, Jumbo Premium Gold, we're going to open up. And we're also going to open up premium mix here. I don't want to leave myself short on actually getting players in the club. Like the rare mix, small rare mix, we'll keep these guys. I'm not too stressed about those. But we are going to open up those premium mix player packs as well. Uh, we'll start off now, though, with the Jumbo Gold pack. Then we'll do the Jumbo Premium. Some back to deal with. Probably some players that I didn't buy. Yeah, called cool, Guerrero. It's fine. Um... So we did Lazio, we did uh, Torino, Udinese, someone that seems like that. We've still got quite a few decent ones from Syria, still a few decent ones in the Premier League to do. It's all like, for example, Man City, Juventus. So they'll all still be able to be opened up as and when we do it. Realistically, like I say, all we're doing at the moment is stacking packs for the first day of Tots. After that, we can just continually open packs up. We haven't got to worry about um, not opening packs up. We can just keep opening up because there'll always be a team of this season... Um, set of players in the, in, in the game. So you don't have to worry about it. It's just for the beginning of it, I want to have a decent amount of packs stacked. Try and pack one. Um, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack is the next pack we're going to open up. Can we hit anything from this one? I'm Yolo Ross, thank you, uh, Philip, you I appreciate it. Yolo Rolos. Yolo Rolos? Yolo Rolos. I'm not Yolo Ross. No, Yolo Rolos. Thank you for the follow over on Twitch, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, again, we'll get rid of these. We'll get the manager contracts. We'll keep the player fitnesses. I've got a load of those that need to be sold as it is anyway. Sent them into cameras, very nice. 
Uh, we'll get rid of that, 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 that. I don't think Marlon has a value at the moment at all. If I'm right, I'm pretty sure he's literally pretty much discard price. We'll just discard him to save my transfer pile because I end up it being full all the time. Um, and then we've got the Prime Electrum, Premium Electrum, Premium Mix. We've got three Premium Mix packs. We'll open these ones up. I was, I was just thinking about it. I didn't really want to be in a situation where I've not got any players coming in because if I start holding Premium Mix players packs, then there's very few packs I'm actually open up other than Gold Player packs. So I want to make sure I've still got players going into the club. Uh, Liquid Janice is a very nice pull as well. He's got a good value at the moment. Um, sort of 4,000 coins, which is very, very solid for Cagliari. Uh, Mesa can go up there. The rest can go to club. It's a shame that all the players in that pack, none of them were... Um, none of the players in that pack that were decent, were, were rare, were gold, which is a bit meh. A bit meh. Um, nothing in that one. I think, the, I think it's still a rare player, at least. It's always nice to get rare players. Like, they just have a better value than, than most commons, but... No, nope, it is a rare player, but it's the one I've already got, Boetius. Boetius can go up there, because he does hold a value sometimes. We'll send the rest to club. Just done Bologna as well, so that's another player back for Bologna. Recycling back in again. And then premium mixed players pack. Anything from this final one? Nothing from that one at all. Last thing I'm going to do is go and have a look and see if we can cycle any of the Liga Santander. Now, I don't think we can. Um, I think there might be a few of them. But even still, I think there might be ones that we're not we're very unlikely to open. Out of doesn't sell, went does sell. Um, what players we probably won't open, but I'm going to go and do the Liga Santander, see if we've got any we can do. And I'll be right back in a second. See you then. Alright guys, so there's only one team that I can complete in La Liga Santander, but I have got marquee matchups done. I use, thanks to your guys' tip, brilliant tip, I hadn't even thought about it. Sometimes when you're doing these videos and you know your ways of doing things, you get stuck in your, uh, in your way of doing things. And you guys saying, well actually, rather than putting those into two rare upgrades, why not putting marquee matchups? It was genius. So thank you very much for that. It's massive appreci massively appreciated. I only had to use maybe 10 League SPC players in total for that, uh, which means now we've even got even more pack stacked for Friday, which is getting really, really legit now. We've got two more packs to open in terms of this Jumbo Gold Pack and the Gold Player Pack. The rest of these guys will all be held until Friday. You guys are in for a treat on Friday when we open these all up. You'll see it on Saturday, I assume. Unless you're watching it live on stream, like I say, click the link down below, come over to stream. Uh, but Jumbo Gold Pack and Gold Players Pack to be opened up now. Um, but yeah, we are building up packs bit by bit. They're, they're, they're starting to start stack up. We'll obviously do the marquee matchups probably earlier than we would normally do them. Um, just so we've got even more packs for Friday. But again, I'm not in any rush to get those ones done specifically. The reason being... That again, like I've said a few times now, these pack these players are now going to be packs of weeks, so I don't got to worry too much about being desperate to. Uh, I know I just sold one for a thousand of him, so let's just sell him now. Um, these players are going to be packs, so I can just keep re recycling, recycle, 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 and not have to worry too much. So if I need to do the marquee matchups, I can do them later on if they're more expensive. A uh, gold player pack, though, if we can get anything from this, it would be nice. Again, I'm fully aware these episodes aren't as exciting as they might be normally for you guys, but it will be worth it hopefully once we open up all these packs we've got. We continue to cycle the league SBCs. We're doing well on that. Uh, a lot of the teams, to be fair, we've got two or three for other Turan. I think he has a value at the moment, doesn't he? Because he's Barcelona. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has a nice value. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Uh, we'll sell him for a solid 4,900 coins. Um, so he can go up there. And these guys can go up there. We'll sort them out afterwards. We'll send those to club. Um, but yeah, like I say, continue to, to stack the club up. It is still really cycling quite well. The smaller packs are just giving bits to each club. It might. I reckon normally I'd be able to have completed a lot of the league SBCs this week. Instead of doing that, we're maybe half, two-thirds away through them, which is fine. Again, we're going to have, there's 23 packs here, close to probably 200 players that are going to go into the club once we've got these opened up uh, to completely refresh a lot of clubs and then the cycle will continue like normal as it is. But that is going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing down below. Like I say, click that like button, a thumbs up if you are enjoying this series. Make sure you click the link down below, come over to Twitch to watch me and check out foottraining.co.uk for all your trading needs. Thank you for supporting that website. It's been utterly, utterly insane. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.